Well, hello, it's uh, Lee. I'm going to take a quick look at uh, some of the stuff we're doing with Wiki Educator. Um, I want to start with this particular graph here. Just let me get up all sizes so we can see it a bit better. Okay. Some of you may have seen this proposed structure for a, um, a wiki. Uh, in the middle we have a course document which is a wiki page in itself and it lists the learning outcomes or units that are to be covered in the course. Individual pages are created for each of those learning outcomes and units and that's them on the left, the blue pages. And uh, on attached to those or sub-pages to those learning outcome and unit standard pages are two pages. That would be unit resources, which is like a library of resources um, of anything from videos to audio recordings to pictures and stuff that are relevant to that particular unit or learning outcome. And then below that are activity sheets, and there'll be a range of activity sheets for different type of learning styles, different contexts and teaching contexts and things like that attached to that unit center. So going through it again, a course document in the middle. Uh, that lists all the unit standards and learning outcomes and then all of the unit, out, unit standards and learning outcomes have pages in their own right but then sub pages to those are library of resource pages and a, a variety of activity sheets. So let's have a look at that um, as it stands at the moment the way we've been working. Uh, take off to this particular page this is called New Zealand Approved Code of Practice Relating to Chainsaw Use. Now this project um, involves developing unit standards uh, for a course and the course as yet doesn't have a page in Wiki Educator. Uh, this is Wiki Educator that we're using for this development. Uh, so we're just starting straight at the unit standard level. And we go to the New Zealand Qualifications Authority. We find the unit standard that um, is relevant. We copy and we paste it into here. And then we strip it of all the specific stuff, like the unit code numbers and um, reference to particular things that make it heavily context-specific to New Zealand. Uh, because we want to, for a start, make it as understandable as possible for people who are reading it. Uh, and some of those people may not actually be from New Zealand so and we want this resource to be as reusable as possible uh, so that we can benefit from the potential collaboration that the Wiki Educator community offers. So this is a unit page. Now the sub pages I mentioned which is the library of resources and the learning activities are linked. I'll just click one and we'll see what it looks like. So what we're looking at now is the New Zealand Code of Practice relating to chainsaw use slash resources. And this is a sub-page to that unit standard. Now that wherever this unit standard page goes, the sub-pages go with it. And uh, all at this stage is a quite a minimal page in that it has the elements within the unit standard, that is the specific outcomes um, or specific assessment criteria of that unit standard listed. And then little by little, resources will be added to the relevant element field. Then we have general resources and then we have general resources RSS feed. So the people working on this project have agreed to use uh, delicious and a tag word called uh, chainsaw-tekatago and so with this um, uh, section here of the page is set up to receive any, any resources that are saved to delicious with that tag word. Okay, so that page is only just starting. Let's have a look at another page. It's not this one. I was just working on that one. Here is a course page called Peer Tutoring with a work in progress warning at the top. Now, the course page lists the learning objectives, which happen to be partly unit standards and partly um, local learning outcomes. If we take a look at this one, which happens to be a unit standard from New Zealand Qualifications Authority, here it is, the same again, copy, pasted and stripped of any New Zealand context specific stuff. Uh, now it has its library of resources. So if we click that library of resources, here we see, well if I just go back, the unit page here has, I didn't mention it in the chainsaw one too clearly, so I'll do it here, the unit page here has what are called elements in the New Zealand Qualifications Framework uh, Authority. Uh, so 
what what you do when we go to the library of resources page is we list those elements again and then we list resources that we find on the internet that are relevant to that particular element and then again general resources about the course and unit generally and the RSS feed of which there are none coming at the moment nobody has tagged any resources in this case adult ed dash tegatago so if we go back to the page see this being a resources page is a sub page of the learning out uh, learning unit uh, so it automatically generates this thing called breadcrumbs which enables us to navigate back to the central unit page uh, going back I've had a rather slow internet connection today go back on this one and see if it moves any quicker Now another sub-page to the unit standard, we're back at Chainsaw here, is Learning Activities. And here we have the beginnings of some learning activities being designed. Now it's the learning activities that will be the main interface for students, learners of this particular topic. And therefore it will be quite pictorial, uh, designed nicely and uh, laid out well. And it will draw from the library of resources and list them in the activities. Uh, the unit standard page and the learning outcome page and the course page, they're kind of the source to the activities pages. You can navigate back to those pages if you like, but the real interface to the learning is through the learning activities. And the learning activities are designed around the unit standards and learning objectives, uh, but they're only a guide. If we go back to facilitate adult learners, we look at their learning activities and they've created a, a page that lists different learning activities because as they're developing multiple activities they've realized that the activities sub page has to list them uh, we look at this one what's learning styles are you and here we start to see it taking some pictures uh, links to videos step one watch this video step two help transcribe the audio step three use links and comments of the video, uh, you know, step four. So that's one activity page we're looking at there called What Style, What Learning Styles Are You? And if we go back to the activities page, and there's another activity in the works facilitate adult learners individual learning styles slash activities slash activities one. This page is called, so it doesn't actually have an activity name yet. Okay, so that's a, a rather sloppy overview of some uh, early work being done around this structure and the structure again a course document page listing unit standards and learning outcomes that have sub pages linked to it called a library of resources for the unit and a variety of activity sheets